56. Chris Hewton twice a winner of this competition as a player. And number eight, Wigan Athletic or Manchester City. Those two teams will meet on Monday night. That, of course, in a repeat of the 2013 final. So those are the numbers that to look out for. It's high time then we got on with it. Michael, if you wouldn't mind, just check uh, the bag's got the balls in. I think it does. Yep. If you'd uh, untie and um, when you can, find your way. All right, I'll get there. Ooh, <laughs> it's that, well tied. That is well tied. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Pull it all off and um, <clears throat> oh, it's drop the eight balls. Well. Right, rip it all off. <laughs> there you go. There well, we go. It worked right. well in the rehearsal. It did. It did. <laughs> drop the eight balls into the bowl. They will eventually go, I think. If the cord releases them. Yeah, let me just do that. There, there you go, go, mate. There you go. There we go. I think they're all in. So give them, um, if you would, you're obviously going to draw the home sides. Give them a good spin inside. And let's get going with the okay. first, yeah, the first home side, if you wouldn't mind. Is number one. And it is number one. So Sheffield Wednesday or Swansea, who'll have to replay for the right to be a quarter finalist, will be at home then in the first of the quarter finals. Sure, you'll draw the away teams. So hey, number six. At home to number six, which is Rochdale or Tottenham Hotspur. So it's an either or versus an either or. Of course, a replay already required for Sheffield Wednesday and Swansea. Rochdale and Tottenham are yet to meet, but uh, that is the first of the quarter finals with Sheffield Wednesday or Swansea at home. We're up and running. Number five. Michael, number five. That is Manchester United, who are then at home, having won at Huddersfield this evening. They're a quarter finalist at Old Trafford. I'll be pleased with that. Jose and Co. At home two. Play number seven. Number seven, which is Brighton and Hove Albion. A repeat of the 83 FA Cup final. So Manchester United at home to Brighton in the quarterfinals. Two down, two ties to go. Number four. Number four, which is Leicester. Leicester City then, uh, of course, we saw off Sheffield United with Jamie Vardy's goal and Riyad Mahrez's assist there at home then uh, in the quarterfinals. Leicester. Play number three. And they play number three, which is Chelsea. So Chelsea will have to go to Leicester. All Premier League tie and an enticing one at that. Claude Puel up against Antonio Conte in the quarterfinals. That leaves us two, who will be at home. Number eight. Number eight, that is Wigan or Manchester City, of course, play on Monday night. So one of those two will be at home in the quarterfinals. Play number two. Leave number two, which is indeed Southampton. Of course, having won at West Brom, they'll go away again, the Saints, to play either Wigan or Manchester City. Thank you very much, gentlemen. That concludes the Emirates FA Cup quarterfinal draw and those ties to be played on the weekend of the 16th to the 19th of March. So then, confirmation of that quarter final draw. Let's just pick that through for you. Sheffield Wednesday or Swansea, who'll need a replay. They'll take on either Rochdale or Tottenham Hotspur, who meet at Spotland on Sunday afternoon. Manchester United, having beaten Huddersfield away, are at home in the quarters to play Brighton and Hove Albion. Leicester City are at home to Chelsea. And it's Wigan or Manchester City who will take on Southampton in the quarterfinals of this year's Emirates FA Cup. And actually, although the, broadly the bigger clubs have been kept apart, Leicester, Manchester City, I know there's quite a lot of feeling that Leicester could be a, a dark horse to, to win this competition, but they've got a tough tie in Chelsea. Yeah, I think so. I think Leicester have, um, you know, they're, they're safe in the Premier League. I don't think they're going to go anywhere in terms of Europe or relegation this year, so they can go full tilt for this competition. And, you know, Leicester, I think, in recent games, in recent weeks and months, they've been... Back to what we saw a couple yeah. of seasons ago when they were when they were lifting the Premier League trophy. Many, of course, will still fancy Manchester City for a quadruple. They will have to get past Wigan for the right to play Southampton. Do you make your own team favourites? Yeah, you would think so. You know, Wigan have done a great job this year getting to the, the stage they're at. Obviously, the game's Monday night. You'd fancy Man City. Won't be easy, of course, mm. but you'd fancy them getting through that. And of course, then a home tie in the, in the quarterfinals, one step away from the semi-final at Wembley. So. Don't know the quadruple every time they play home or away. They seem to, they seem to be very strong, Man City, and they look good for the yeah, the Champions League will probably be the biggest one they might struggle to get, but they all really look really good. We shall see in the middle of March. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I know you're sharing a car home, not sure who's driving the taxi, but um, <laughs> perhaps we should leave that there and hand you back to Jake Humphrey at Huddersfield, Jake. <laughs>